नमस्ते आई जे वी एन नरेंद्र कुमार चाह असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी अंडर फैकल्टी ऑफ एजुकेशन एंड मेथोलॉजी एट ज्योति विद्यापीठ इवन जूनियर श्रीदेव सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एडवांस इंक्रिप्शन स्टैंडर्ड व्हिच इज द सक्सेसर ऑफ डीईएस इट्स लाइक वी हैव फाउंड सम ड्रॉबैक्स इन डीईएस एंड देन द एईएस कम इन द पिक्चर so while talking about aes first uh, we discuss about the drawbacks which were uh, in the 3 des so uh, it has three times as many rounds as data encryption algorithm and it is correspondingly slower this because we are using uh, two keys at uh, just first key at a time and the second key is like k1 k2 and then again k1 so this three time encryption is slow it's a slow process it will take it takes some more time now both data encryption standard algorithm and 3ds is 64 uh, bit block size good a 64 bit block is easy to crack uh, this uh, we have discussed about uh, a block uh, these blocks by using the brute force so it is not reasonable candidate for long term use we can use it for the short terms or uh, some short uh, encryptions that are not uh, very important now talking about uh, the aes so in 1997 nist issued a, a call for proposals for a new uh, advanced encryption standard so they have uh, three major things here so it should have a security strength equal to or better than 3ds and significantly improved efficiency just like in 3ds uh, it is taking uh, three rounds and not encrypting uh, that faster so uh, and efficiency also while using the same key once again then what is the drawback just like uh, sometimes it can be use as 2d as only like if uh, this key is known so we have to find out this key only so must be symmetric block cipher with a block strength of 128 bits now the uh, strength is increased by the 64 uh, more bits just like there we have a 64 bit block and now the block size is uh, 128 bit which can support the key length of 128 bit 192 256 so these are the three key sizes in aes now evaluation criteria include included security computation efficiency memory requirements hardware and software suitability and flexibility these are the things that uh, a new encryption algorithm uh, must include now nist selected a uh, proposed uh, aes algorithm which was uh, developed by uh, dr john and dr vincent so it was finally published uh, as fips publication 197 2001 so this is when the advanced encryption standard was published now uh, while talking about the aes so here the block size was 128 bits in key lengths are 128 192 256 here we uh, for the discussion we are taking the 128 bits only so what is that 128 bit so for the input to the encryption and decryption algorithms a single 128 bit block see there is a single 128 bit block is here so in fips publication 197 the block is uh, depicted as a square matrix of bytes just like this block is like this so we have to divide the all the characters these blocks here yeah. now a block is copied into uh, the state array which is modified to the each stage of encryption and decryption so this is uh, written in this array we can say this uh, complete matrix is an array so we are taking this one as a array this one as a array or might be this one as a array so we are uh, filling all the locations here now after the final stage is it is copied to an output matrix now 
and in output matrix is also there so this is the input matrix and there will be an output matrix also here now when we talk about this so similarly uh, here we are talking about uh, the block which is uh, to be encrypted now here we are talking about the key so 128 bit key is depicted as square matrix of bytes the key is then expanded into array of key schedule words each word is four uh, each word is uh, of four bytes and total key schedule is 44 words for a 128 bit key why this is 44 we will discuss it just like uh, we are dividing into four bytes so these four bytes are reserved here so this is the 48 completely now we order bytes in a matrix by each column so now we decide all the bytes will be ordered in the columns only so first we write here then here and this goes like this okay so first four bytes of 128 bit plain text input uh, to the encryption ciphers occupy the first column in the matrix the second four bytes occupy the second column and so on so first four bytes here second four bytes here third four bytes here similarly the first four, uh, four bytes of expanded key which is uh, which from a word occupy the first column of w matrix so there is an another matrix where the key occupies all the places in a column first uh, th these are the four bytes only So four bytes are filled in this column, four bytes in this column, for this, for this, and so on. Now we talk about the working of AES. So there are four different stages uh, used to perform the uh, AES algorithm. So there is one of permutation and three of the substitution. So first one is the substitute bytes. So use the table referred as an X box. So what is an S, S box? S box is referred uh, just like we are giving some uh, inputs in that. Just like we are giving six inputs here and we are taking two outputs only. So th this box is reduces the bytes. It's like we want to reduce uh, these six bytes to two or we, maybe three. So we use the S box here. Now the shift rows, so a simple permutation that is performed by row by row. So what is the shift? We are shifting this left shift and right shift or might be a circular shift rows. Then mix columns. So what is in the mix columns? The substitution that alters each byte in a column, um, a function of call of all the bytes in the column. It's like we are mixing all the columns. It's like we are rearranging the columns. Now the add round key. So a simple bitwise XOR of current block with a portion of expanded degree. So the, the XOR, uh, when we is, uh, so in the DES, the processed left bits or the processed right bits are XOR with the left bits. So what is in the, the uh, in the round key? So the round key is used to, to um, apply on the function and then it is XOR with a portion or we, we might say the bytes here. Now we can say, you take the plain text, plain text here, that is 16 bytes. That means uh, it is 128 bits. We simply can say 16 bytes multiplied by eight, is like eight, bit, eight bits in a byte. So this is uh, 128 bits. So now input set, so this is the matrix here. Now initial transformation, uh, transformation is here. Now see parallelly, a key is uh, also here. That is of M bytes. The key is also arranged in the matrix and the key expansion is done here. And in each round, the same key is used. Just like here in the round zero key, uh, the, all the permutation uh, held here and after that, uh, the let circular shift is happened. So this is the same process, but is with the more bits in it. So 
this is absorbed here and uh, straight after initial transformation. It's like the initial transformation is done here by using the sound key. And this is the round one uh, uh, transformation where the four transformations take place. It's like we have discussed these four. Substitute by it, shift rows, mix column, and a round key. So these are performed and uh, it goes so on. Now we talk about a round. So what is in the round? So first one is the substitute bytes, then shift close, mix column, and the round key. We have discussed all these uh, earlier. Now, total rounds are n here. So now n key will be here. Now the final state, the a, a again, a matrix, output matrix is uh, here. So this is arranged like in the cipher list. So what are the number of rounds in the key length? So if you take the key length uh, as a 16, so number of rounds are 10. Then we take the key length, this is 24 bytes, then is the round of, uh, rounds are 12. And uh, in 32, it is 14. So what is in 16? That is 128 bit key. And this is 196. And this is 256. Okay. So this is the thing here. Now, some comments about the AES. So this is not based on the fiscal structure per se. So the DES is uh, based on the fiscal structure. So this is not uh, based on the fiscal structure, first one. For both encryption and decryption, the cipher begins with an add round key stays. So in the both, uh, in the cipher uh, uh, or the plain text, this is like encryption and decryption. You started with the end round key stage followed by the nine rounds that each includes all four stages. It's like uh, nine stages are here and in each round. Uh, there are four stages that are, uh, that are performed here. So each stage is reversible here. So we can reverse every stage here, just like we have done some shifting. So we can reverse the shifting back, just like A, B, C. So if I'm shifting this, this to left, so what will be the output B, C, A? If I'm, uh, I'm uh, again, I'm shifting this to right. So the A will be at the first, A, B, C. Okay. The final round of both encryption and decryption consists only three stages. Why not four? Just because we are not adding the round key here. Now the decryption algorithm uh, is not identical to the encryption algorithm. So to so see the difference is here. Just like we are not uh, just uh, doing the same uh, same procedure over again and again, so we used an expanded uh, key here to reverse the order. This is all about uh, our encryption and uh, advanced encryption standard. So this is uh, more of the DES algorithm, uh, which is not based on the fiscal structure. And each round has, has the four steps here. So this is it. Uh, thank you.